I should kind of learn that. I really should. In this video, we're going to talk about cars. Like, like I know so much about cars, right? This is Miss Muddy Doctor, welcome to my channel. This channel is actually about personal finance and personal development, so we're going to develop together. So if you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some value out of this video, so might as well just press that like button already. And in this video, we're actually going to talk about how to um, save money on fuel because the fuel is so super expensive these days. What is it that we can do to reduce the petrol price? Or, or diesel or any fuel price for your car. Let's save together, so let's dive in and get started. There are different ways to do that, and, but the most obvious one is that you need to uh, keep your tires inflated. You need to keep them, uh, you know, make sure that the pressure is good enough. The low pressure could potentially lead to a drag on the car, and of course, that would take more fuel, and um, you need to avoid that. Check that pressure every time you can. Other obvious ones that a lot of people know that, but they kind of like don't do it. Is declutter your car. The more, the heavier your car is, the more fuel it's going to take. Get rid of the rubbish in your car. Declutter it. If you don't use it, you don't need it right there and then. Take it out of your car. That is just doesn't include things inside your car. Also, things on your top of your car. If you have a, a, a roof rack, then take it off if you don't use it at a time. Because uh, as I said, the heavier the car is, the more fuel it's going to take. Other things that you don't necessarily have to use a lot is air conditioners. You can wind down the windows, you know, you can you can just do that. You don't always have to put on the air con all the time uh, because obviously that takes a lot of fuel as well. I'm not I'm not saying you need to cut out everything from your life, okay? If you need it, use it. But if you if you don't need it or you can just do with some fresh air instead, you can do that too. A lot of times Common sense can make a big difference. But I also understand common sense is not quite common. So let's keep going with our list. At some point you will have to buy fuel and the cheaper you can get it, the better. So there are a lot of comparison apps on your phone that you might not even know about. So you just quickly, you can pause this video, but make sure you come back to it. Check your app store. And um, there is a, there's one app that I particularly like put petrol prices UK it will come up it's a free app and it will tell you when you enter your postcode what is the cheapest uh, petrol station around you you know not too far from you you can set how far you are willing to travel for it and um, yeah try to get the cheapest possible I don't particularly advocate to go and fill up your tank because that fuel is also heavy I personally think um, if the petrol station is not too far just take a little and ever you go again don't make your car extremely heavy and then whatever you would have, would have saved on the fuel now you're gonna basically burn it on the way as you travel you know that's something to consider just you know comment in the comment section what do you think do you think it's better to um, uh, find a cheap petrol station and then just you know fill up your car or do you think it's better to go frequently what is your opinion comment below accelerate slowly is actually quite interesting because you know when you accelerate slowly it basically is quite fuel efficient that's all i'm gonna say about that i don't quite understand why it just accelerates slowly okay press that like button <laughs> right and also um just change gear sooner because the sooner you change gear the more fuel efficient your car is going to be so that's another little tip for you i i should kind of learn that i really should um yeah let's keep going in fact you should actually like slow naturally instead of um, slamming the brake all the time a lot of the time speeding up and then, then slamming the brake and slowing that way is it's not even gonna get you any further you're gonna catch up with the same cars and the next light and you're just gonna like stare each other thinking how silly you were to speed up and then catch up at the next light so Make sure you don't brake really harshly and you just uh, slow naturally. Brake is a massive money burner as well, by the way. Loyalty schemes and also reward cards are great because obviously when you have a car, you will buy fuel. So might as well just sign up for the loyalty schemes for the 
petrol station that you've chosen. Make sure you don't just choose the petrol station because of the loyalty schemes. You know, you don't want to be brainwashed by, you know, seeing a, an amazing loyalty schemes and you just forget all about prices and um, trying to be energy efficient and all that stuff. You just, uh, did I say energy efficient? Fuel efficient. Press the like button. <laughs> Right, so loyalty schemes are great if you actually use it the right way. So if you were going to buy from that petrol station and they happen to have a loyalty scheme, you can use that. As a last point, can I just say, you don't always have to use the car as well because a lot of the times you can actually share the cost. You can uh, you can share your car, you can share your car and someone else you know chips into your uh, fuel cost or you can just simply find and, and match with another commuter. I know there is this um, site called Lift Share, which is quite popular, but it's also one, another one which is Blah Blah Car, which I think is originated from France and it's all over the UK and all over the world and there are different countries where they use this. And it's basically just matching you with, with commuters, helps you save on your commute cost. Right, so if you have any comments and any other tips that you think might be useful for, for me and for others, then make sure you comment below and um, like the, the video and share it and, and subscribe and all that. So yeah, I was really happy to see you here. See you next time. Bye.